Hey there, welcome to My Green Pets, I'm William Green. And the green winter is coming to an end pretty soon. We're gonna have some Calia flowers coming on. So let's have a look. This Calia Rex is gonna be the first to bloom. Only two flowers, but really excited to see it. Um, this one bloomed last summer for the first time, but I was not home to see it. When I came here, they were already kind of faded out, so be looking forward to seeing these. And several other plants are in sheath. Really got my eye on Mayu. This plant has three sheaths, and uh, just really be great if they all bloomed out at the same time, but we'll see. We'll see what it wants to do. Got a first timer gonna bloom here. And I think this one behind it as well looks big enough to bloom. Got another sheath over here. And then one behind it as well. So yeah, a lot of a lot of flowers gonna be popping out soon. Kelly Walkeriana. A lot of people have been sending me messages, you know, hey, your walker on it looks like it's got a spike, it looks like it's going to bloom. I still, I still can't say that I, I can tell what it's going to do or not. It is rooting, the new growth is starting to root, so that's always a good thing, new root, new root's always good, but um, until I see some buds or a leaf, I just... Question marks. No idea what it's what it's doing. Everything looks so nice with the sunlight coming in. Tomorrow or tonight our clocks jump forward one hour. That's gonna make Monday a little harder. Try to get to bed an extra hour earlier if I can. Hal is working on something over here, some kind of new growth. I'm hoping it's growth and not another spike. It looks kind of long, but hopefully get a new leaf on Hal. Catacetums looking good, growing nicely. Signodes wanted to light here. Nice strong new growth. Kinda took the year off last year to recover. It's jumping back on it this year. Signoches Coopery also looking great. Looking forward to that. Hopefully blooming this year. And then the trio of Rebecca Northern. All sprouting up. Looking good. Here's the Catlia Jose Marti I divided up. Hillbilly Orchid's got a big chunk of it. I kept this chunk. The bulbs are much more swollen than they were, so it's taking up water. That's a good sign. More buds, shadows of buds in the sheath here for this Rex. This will be a first timer. Eight years, eight years from Flask. A long time. Little Rexes from Peru Flora at the beginning of their eight year journey. Some of the larger one larger Calia seedlings here. Some more seedlings as well. Everybody's Getting nice amount of fertilizer. I'm aiming for at least 25 parts per million of nitrogen with every watering. And right now I'm using K Light and I'm using Alaska Fish Fertilizer as well. Alaska's the brand, it's not fish fertilizer from Alaska, it's just a brand, Alaska Fish Fertilizer. So 
Uh, well, I found after you know our conversation with Dustin, very very insightful into the pH of water and the availability of nutrients for plants. I thought, well, I'm going to test my pH. So I found that the tap water is very high pH, like eight. Like it turned the test bright blue. Um, and distilled water is very acidic, like a six. It was like pure yellow. So I noticed that if I added kaolite, which is my go-to fertilizer, to the tap water, it didn't affect the pH hardly at all. But if I added the fish fertilizer, it really dropped the pH. And I thought, oh, okay, well this is a kind of a two-in-one. I can use the fish fertilizer to drop the pH and also use a little bit of kaolite to get those extra macro or ex extra micronutrients in there. Kaolite looks like it has a lot of good stuff in it. So now I'm kind of using a little combination of, the, of both of them and really making sure that plants are getting fertilizer with every watering. And hopefully we're going to see that growth really push plants really take up all those nutrients. Hopefully we're going to see things green up even more and uh, maybe everything after they complete their current growth will start pushing out additional growth. So that's it. All right. Another short update. Next weekend I will have this Calyrex in bloom for you. And maybe some more buds poking out. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by. And we'll see you next time right here on My Green Pets. I'm William Green. See ya.